My name is Alicia Strawn, and this is my final presentation for Art 111 about Georgia O'Keeffe. So why did I choose Georgia O'Keeffe? In the first few pages of our art book, there's a quote by her that says, I found that I could say things with colors and shapes that I couldn't say in any other way, things I had no words for. This intrigued me from the beginning of this course because I've never really used art as a way to express myself. This quote made me want to learn more about how I could use art to express myself as O'Keefe did. As I researched her life and work further, I found that I liked the perspective she had on nature. I love nature, as she did, and appreciate how she was able to portray it in an abstract way. She completed many paintings of flowers such as poppies, snapdragons, and irises, like the one you see here in her painting, Light of Iris. Seeing these reminded me of walking through my grandmother's gardens as a child. These are very fond memories that I have. These were all reasons I wanted to learn more about her life and work as an artist. O'Keeffe set aside the realist style she was taught in art school and showed others the world of abstractions. She did not paint and draw things exactly as they appeared, but instead used elements of art like lines, shapes, colors, and contrast to convey meaning through her work, like in this piece, Red and Orange Streak. She is also known as the mother of American modernism. With her unique representation of flowers, dramatic portrayals of cityscapes, scenes of New Mexico, and images of bones against desert skies, she contributed to American modernism. Georgia O'Keeffe used various media in her work. She began her career, career by completing drawings with charcoal. She also completed numerous paintings with watercolors and oil paints. Later in life, as her vision deteriorated, she also created sculptures. Although O'Keeffe learned traditional realist painting at the Art Institute of Chicago in 1905 and 1906, and did the Art Students League in New York in 1907 and 1908, it did not inspire her. She actually quit painting for a short time after this. Learning to paint just like other artists did, did not interest her. It was Arthur Wesley Dow that truly influenced and inspired her work. He taught about composition and design and simply thought, of an, indi thought an individual should fill a space in a beautiful way. Georgia O'Keeffe felt that she could do, do that easily. She chose to fill her canvas with beautiful art that had a unique perspective. She was also influenced by Alfred Stieglitz, who was an art dealer and internationally known photographer. Georgia and Alfred married, and he took many photographs of her, including intimate nudes. After this, many critics said her abstract art was an expression of sexuality, like Stieglitz. She denied this. These accusations caused her to start doing objective paintings for a period of time. New Mexico also had a profound influence on O'Keeffe and her art. She said that she felt different when she was there, and it inspired her. She completed numerous works of art portraying the New Mexico landscape at the Ghost Ranch, where she lived later in life. Georgia O'Keeffe completed an abundance of paintings. Most of them fall into three categories. The first category is abstract paintings of flowers. She was drawn to nature and wanted to show it to others the way she saw it. She typically portrayed a portion or perspective of a plant that took closer inspection to realize. As in this work, Red Canna, which is a depiction of the plant if you looked at the flower very close up. She is a very famous, this is a very famous portrait that she completed. It also helped contribute to American modernism and is still relevant today. Another category of her art was New York landscapes. She put an abstract spin on her portrayal of the city, as you can see in this piece, Radiator Building, Night, New York, that she completed in 1927. The paintings also helped contribute to American modernism. The final category is the images of bones and New Mexico landscapes. In this piece, Summer Days, you can see the landscape of New Mexico at the bottom of the painting, flowers in the middle portion, and skull at the top. Georgia O'Keeffe painted many scenes from New Mexico that inspired her, and these also helped contribute to American modernism. Georgia O'Keeffe was a very successful artist. As mentioned previously, she is referred to as the mother of American modernism. As an artist, it was very risky to steer away from what she was taught in school and depict a unique perspective like the abstract works she completed of flowers in New York. 
It was fortunate that American modernists were seeking such risk at the time. She sold many paintings and her art was and still is displayed in many galleries. She was also given the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the greatest civilian honor in the United States, and received the National Medal of Arts. The U.S. Postal Service also honored her by issuing a stamp of her painting, Red Poppy. She was also a significant influence for other female artists. She was able to be successful in what was, at the time, a male-dominated world of art, especially in New York. Georgia O'Keeffe was a very interesting lady. One interesting fact about her that has not been mentioned previously is that she often painted in her car in New Mexico due to the bugs and harsh sun. She had a customized Model A Ford with detachable front seat so she could turn the passenger seat to face the back seat. Then she could prop up her canvas and paint. I think it is also interesting that she preferred the desert of New Mexico over the greenery of the eastern United States. It's also amazing that she lived to be 98 years old and continued to express herself with art her entire life. These are the resources I used to learn about Georgia O'Keeffe and complete this presentation. Thank you for watching.